Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, and I am super excited because the folks over at Kiwi Home have sent me something very special today. Now, this is a Steam Deck dock. This is one of their newest products, and from what I have read about it, it's pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do today is get this all unboxed and give you my first impressions and thoughts about it. And then we will go ahead and head over to the media room and get it hooked up so that we can see just what it looks like with a Steam Deck on it. Now, my Steam Deck also has a case around it, so we will see if I would have to take the case off in order to use it on the dock, which is often the case with docks for the Switch, Steam Deck, things like that. You can have cases on them. So we'll see if it is compatible with that and we'll go from there. Now, I was originally sent this as a pre-production sample, so I don't know if the actual final product will look any different than this as far as packaging goes, but on the back here, it gives all of the basic information about Kiwi Home, and then right on the top, it just says Kiwi Home. So let's go ahead and open this up. And here we have a docking station for Steam Deck. This is a nice little user manual that is apparently in a ton of different languages, but it shows you what all the different things are. So it obviously has a type C and it looks like it is a right angle connector. And then it's got display port, it's got HDMI, it's got type C pass through on the back. It's got three USB ports that look to be 3.0. And then it also has a gigabit ethernet port. So that's awesome. And I believe this whole thing, yeah, this thing is made of metal. So let's go ahead and check this out. As I said, this is a pre-production sample. So, you know, your results may vary. This is a very bog standard packaging right here. But here it is. This is the Kiwi Home Steam Deck Dock. And I gotta say, first impressions, first feel, this thing is like, this thing is solid, man. Is this one piece of metal? This almost looks like it might be one piece of metal. That's crazy. At least all of the rounded edges that you would have access to with your fingers are uh, indeed rounded. But then on the back, we have that display port right here. We've got that HDMI. And then we got our type C, our three USB 3.0s and our gigabit port. And then right here, we just have a little button. I don't know what that does yet. Uh, got our nice little right angle to plug into the top there and your power supply can go back here. And yeah, it's super simple looking, but overall, I mean, first impressions is this thing is nice. I really like the weight of it. It doesn't feel like a cheap product. It feels like a very premium product. And so far, yeah, I mean, first impressions, I really like this. This is a, a really nice piece of kit right here and it's sleek. It does have branding on it right there on the front. It says Kiwi Home, but it's not super obtrusive or anything like that. And honestly, unless you were looking for it, you probably wouldn't even notice it, which is the best kind of branding. It's got information on the bottom, uh, 20 volt, 2.25 amps. It's got a serial number and then it's got some of your regulatory warnings on it, but very simple. I mean, you just plug it in and go from there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this all set up in the entertainment center and see what it looks like to plug a Steam Deck into this. And if that slot is big enough to hold the Steam Deck with a case on it. So I do have, uh, my case is from Dbrand. It's the Kill Switch case. So we're gonna take a look and see what that's like. So here it is all plugged in. As you can see, now that it has power running through it, we got that little light going and I've got my Steam Deck right here. And let's see if it fits with the kill switch case on there. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. That fits pretty darn well. And then we have our little cable right here, comes over the top and we plug that in. And let's see if it will just connect right up. It should. So after plugging it in, it comes right up on the screen. My TV took a second to recognize it, but once it was there, it modified the signal going through. That way it would output at a higher resolution. And there we go. It's just hooked up and ready to go. And I gotta say, it looks great. This is my first time ever running my Steam Deck in a docked mode and it looks awesome. So yeah, I mean, that was a super simple unboxing and setup process. Like I said, I mean, Again, this is a pre-production sample. The actual retail packaging might be different than this, but I mean, this was nice. I got into it. It has a user manual that is just right there. You just plug the thing in and it is good to go. I mean, I just plugged in my HDMI, plugged in my power. This went right in and the Steam Deck had no problem sitting in that space at all. And that is really nice because I like simplicity. I don't wanna have to mess with a bunch of stuff. I had to connect two cables, one of which was power. And 
this is great. I mean, the thing is super heavy duty. I don't know how much this weighs or if it is listed anywhere on here, but it weighs probably around a pound, I would say, uh, or close to it, but it feels solid. It's not like cheap plastic or anything like that. It's actual metal on there and it's really nice. And plus, I don't have to take the case off of my Steam Deck in order to actually put this in here. It fit in there perfectly fine and it was totally snug. I can just take it out. It doesn't lift up the dock or anything like that. And yeah, just overall a really nice experience, honestly. But yeah, a huge thank you to the folks over at Kiwi Home for sending this over to the channel. That way I could check it out and show it off for all of you. And if you are in the market for a Steam Deck dock or you have one and you wanna try something else, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description down below on where you can find the Kiwi Home docking station for Steam Deck. And if you like this video and you wanna check out another one, then go ahead and check out this area right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you later.